Hurricane Matthew making landfall in the Bahamas before the sun could show the damage. A strong Category 3 shaking the island. Bright lights and sparks from explosions visible numerous times as the delicate electric grid failed. The morning light shows the aftermath. One hotel facade ripped off, exposing the rooms inside. Trees snapped like twigs, now blocking many roads. Hammocks and mattresses stuck in trees. Boats wrecked on dry land. And the demand for fuel is high. Crowds swarm, limited working gas pumps. Garth Buckner and other residents use axes, machetes and chainsaws to help clear one road. What we're doing is coming out here on the road and cleaning it up. Everybody can get through. We are on the south end of New Providence Island where Hurricane Matthew hit the hardest. An estimated 145 mile per hour winds. The damage, widespread and apparent, including this church, which was ripped in half. It's a disaster as far as the um, building is concerned. Everything is out. It's finished. The church where Pastor Barbara Reming gave sermons on Sundays wiped out. Over there, you're going to see the chairs. A mix of tidal surge and wind from Matthew leaves behind only an outline of the building which stood there before. That this is the hand of the Lord and he is going to move. For we know that all things work together for good. I am not discouraged at all. NASA officials tell the AP, despite the destruction, no one died as the long cleanup process begins. Joshua Plogel, The Associated Press, Nassau.